question for Sean from Audrey Boyce. Um, she said, it's refreshing to hear that you're serving seniors with a delightful attitude. You mentioned subscriptions at senior living communities. Is that part of the CCM or have you built out another add-on at an additional charge? Uh, excellent question. Thank you. And and by the way, I, I feel like we spent most of our time talking about clinical practices and hospital health systems. Senior living is huge. Uh, 86% of assisted living facilities have reported moderate to severe staffing shortages. So just imagine the value of being able to provide a 24 by 7 virtual care clinical service on behalf of their residents. It would not only attract residents, you know, as a, a benefit from the next facility down the street, but it's also going to help them to deliver services better to their residents. Uh, add in the fact that we can do COVID-19 surveillance and infectious disease sur surveillance on a facility or community-wide basis, and it becomes a really, really engaging and, and interesting platform for senior living communities. So that's how we're serving them with respect to... Um, Oh, and I just lost the question one more time, actually, on the back end of the question. Um, so the question was, is, is it part of um, CCM or if you there built out go. another app? Yeah, yeah, the subscription. Thank you. I just totally lost the subscription in my head there. Um, yeah, so uh, for even those senior living residents, uh, they, Medicare and private insurance will pay for a monthly chronic care management and monthly remote patient monitoring um, collection and interpretation. Our subscription is just a recognition of the fact that there are um, patients, there are caregivers, and there are family members of patients that really want more attention for their loved one, especially in senior living communities. So, you know, I'm part of that sandwich generation. I'm 57. I have a son still in college. My parents are in their 80s. You know, uh, so you're 9% of adult Americans are in that space. And, and believe me, if I could have the ability, um, you know, my dad's not in assisted living right now, but if he was, uh, I would love to pay for a subscription service that gives them more attention. So in our world, it's $45 per patient per month for an additional monthly visit, $95 per patient per month for weekly, and $145 per patient per, per month for unlimited, like we'll follow up every day by video or phone. Uh, so, you know, I would happily pay uh, the, that $145 to make sure that my dad's exercising, that he's eating right, that he's taking his medications on a, on a timely basis. Uh, you know, I, I literally, one quick example of, of that, a uh, good friend of mine who's 56 years old, she is a single mom. She has a son in high school, a, a, a daughter in college, uh, a dad who is uh, suffering from uh, early onset dementia and also has is a fall risk. And she's 95 miles away. Now, he's not in assisted living, but what she wouldn't do or pay to have someone to follow up with her dad because she can't be there. She's 95 miles away, but she's the primary caregiver. We believe that this kind of delightful service is going to make a huge difference for caregivers and for family members that want additional you know, attention. And, and of course, we can employ RPM devices that monitor for fall risks and for wandering. And we can incorporate that into, the, into notifications through our True Care app, and that's powered by Carium. So it becomes a really interesting world in independent living and senior living of the delightful services that we can provide.